guys, this is Haley from OneOwnerRabbits.com and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about senior rabbit care. So Ebony and Sterling are both now seniors. Ebony is nine and a half years old, so she's been a senior for a while now, and Sterling just turned six years old this January. So I thought I would just make a video telling you guys what I'm doing to care for them differently than I was when they weren't seniors and kind of explaining a little bit about senior rabbit care in general. So the first thing is when is a rabbit considered a senior? So this obviously depends on the rabbit, but generally they say any rabbit above the age of six years old is considered a senior rabbit. So obviously this will depend a lot on the individual rabbit on whether you see them like acting older or anything. But for example, larger breeds such as giant rabbits may be considered seniors at a earlier age just because they do have a shorter lifespan. So this might be more like five years old or even younger. Definitely speak to your vet about it if you have a rabbit who is a giant. So what are the signs and symptoms of your rabbit getting older? One of the most common things is going to be illness, whether that be a chronic medical condition or something more like chronic dental work that needs to be done. But probably the most frequent thing that I have seen personally with my rabbits is arthritis. Out of all of my senior rabbits in the past, which I've had about four so far, well, five now counting Sterling, I have seen them all end up developing arthritis at some point after they become a senior. Other things that you may see with a rabbit getting older is weight loss. I've also seen this in all of my rabbits who are seniors. Uh, except for Sterling, he's still a baby senior, but um, all of my older senior rabbits have all struggled with weight loss and keeping on weight, so diet changes may be necessary in older rabbits. What special care should your rabbit have as a senior? Senior rabbits should be having blood work and vet checkups every six months. If they have a chronic health condition or are on medication, they may need blood work every three months versus every six months. It really just depends on the rabbit. The reason that rabbits need blood work every six months once they are older is because there are so many health conditions that are undetectable um, unless you're doing blood work and can see elevated levels there. So something that can be common in elderly rabbit is organ dysfunction, so like in their kidneys or their liver, a lot of those things uh, don't always show outward symptoms until the illness has progressed dramatically at a point where it's no longer treatable. So that's why it's good to have blood work well, it's good to have blood work every year for young rabbits, but once they get older, it's better to do it every six months as they are more prone to issues like this once they are older. If a rabbit is older and has a chronic health condition, something else you may need is daily medication. Uh, so this is definitely um, an expense that you will have to keep in mind. Um, some rabbits only require one medication, whereas I've had rabbits who are on three plus medications uh, daily. So yeah, it really just depends on the bunny. Some rabbits may need habitat adjustments as well, specifically if they have arthritis or mobility issues, they'll need lower litter box entries. Uh, they potentially will need their ramps or shelving taken down if it becomes dangerous for them potentially even softer flooring for them to make it more comfortable. So that's a little overview on some senior rabbit care and some things to watch out for. But now I'm gonna go over my specific rabbit care for my senior rabbits. Like I mentioned before, both of my rabbits are now seniors. Sterling just became a senior this January. He is six years old and Ebony is nine and a half and has been a senior for quite a while. Starting with Sterling, he really has no symptoms of being a senior yet, besides sleeping a ton. Uh, when rabbits get older, they tend to sleep a lot more, don't really uh, wanna play as much or explore. Uh, they tend to sleep long hours. So that's the main thing I've seen in Sterling. Um, he definitely still wants to explore and do stuff. Uh, compared to Ebony, who like really could care less <laughs> to ever do that. Um, she's pretty, uh, she's a lot older, obviously. So Sterling uh, is definitely slowed down in that aspect. But besides that, I really haven't seen any symptoms or anything from him. However, because he is six years old, I have started him on an arthritis medication as a preventative. Um, I started him on a medication called Adequin. Adequin is an injectable arthritis medication that can help prevent the growth of arthritis 
and it can also slow the growth of arthritis. This injection has been researched and is the top medication for arthritis out there. Um, my vet personally doesn't like oral glucosamine for rabbits as it has been shown to be destroyed by the gut before it even enters the bones, which is what it should be doing. Um, with the injectable form, uh, there's research showing that it has been proven to get to the bones and be very highly effective. I've seen it act wonderfully in Lulu. Um, Lulu developed arthritis and lost mobility of one of her hind legs. We started her on Adequin and she was able to fully walk again. She was able to do binkies again. Like it was crazy. Um, Adequin definitely really works, but it works better if you start early as a preventative versus starting it after they show symptoms. So. Um, with Sterling, that is what we are doing. We are starting early to help prevent it from um, growing at all. So. <laughs> so now on to Ebony. She's been showing symptoms of uh, being older for a while now. She's nine and a half. So about the age of six or seven, I can't recall off the top of my head, but she had her senior blood work done and she had elevated liver enzymes. Uh, several different levels were very high, which was very concerning. She ended up going to a specialty vet down in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, she had an ultrasound done on her liver to rule out liver torsion. Uh, she had a couple other tests done as well, and it turned out she just had, um, I believe they thought she had chronic liver disease, uh, but because all of the tests came back inconclusive, it was really hard to tell. Uh, we started her on a liver medication and she was on that for two to three years. Uh, it was a daily medication that she took and her liver ended up healing itself, which is great. Uh, she no longer has to take daily liver medication, um, but she does require frequent blood checkups to make sure her liver condition doesn't come back. So she uh, has gotten blood work about every three months um, since she was six or seven years old. Sometimes we push it a little bit longer now that she's been healthy for several months, but I just go based off on what my vet tells me. So every time we get blood work, my vet tells me, oh, we'll redo it in three months or four months. You know, I'll just go based on what my vet tells me, but thankfully that condition is hopefully gone, um, but obviously if it did come back, we would start her back on the same medication. Within the last six months, I have noticed some symptoms of arthritis in Ebony. Um, she was about nine years old when I started kind of seeing symptoms. One of the main symptoms that I notice in rabbits who develop arthritis, one of the first things that tends to show is when they stand on their hind legs to like beg for a treat or stand on their hind legs to like groom their belly or groom certain parts of their body, um, they'll fall backwards or they'll fall to the side. Now, obviously if this happens one time and never again, it's probably just a fluke thing, but if you notice it several times, this is a good indication that they have spinal degeneration, which is basically spinal arthritis. Um, so that is what I started noticing with Ebony. Um, hers is very mild. Um, I only noticed it a couple of times. Uh, she would stand up or she would like not really want to stand up, but then she would, and then she'd kind of fall a little bit. Uh, she's definitely not as bad as I have seen, but because of that, we did take her to the vet and discuss um, arthritis management for her. So she's also on Adequin, the same as Sterling, and that should help the slow the growth of arthritis, which is wonderful. Um, and she'll be on that the rest of her life. Same with Sterling, will be on it. And then she also is on Medicam. So Medicam is an anti-inflammatory medication. This can help with any discomfort that comes from arthritis. Um, if she's having pain or anything like that, the Medicam should take care of that. It's really hard to tell if a rabbit is in pain unless they're experiencing intense pain. So if you're noticing symptoms of arthritis, it's a good idea to start a pain management medication just because most likely if they're showing symptoms of arthritis, they're having some sort of pain. The only other changes we have made is in the bunny room, we have added a space heater. 
Now, my rabbit room gets quite chilly in the winter because I live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we get like negative 25 degree wind chills and I have two very large windows in the bunny room, which makes it like a little bit colder than the rest of the house, uh, just because there's so many windows in there and there's only one um, register, like one heater. So we decided to put a space heater in there. I have an X-Pen wrapped around it so they can't access the cord or anything or touch the heater since it does get hot. And that way I can fully monitor like exactly what the temperature is in there. Um, I keep my house about 68 degrees, whereas with a arthritic rabbit, I want something a little bit warmer, probably about 70 to 71 degrees, um, depending on the rabbit. So because Sterling doesn't have any symptoms of arthritis, he is also a little bit overweight, which means I don't want it too hot in there for him because that could affect him. Um, if they were both like elderly and very arthritic, I would probably keep it a little bit warmer, close to like 73, 74 degrees. Uh, that's what I did with Lulu. Uh, but thankfully, Ebony's arthritis is very mild. And honestly, since I put the space heater in there, I haven't noticed much symptoms at all. I think because it was so chilly and cold in there, that definitely affects her arthritis. So um, the space heater has helped wonderfully. Highly recommend if your rabbits have arthritis. Wonderful addition. <laughs> um, I guess if you live somewhere warm, this might not be an issue. Uh, maybe just like close your register for the air conditioning if it makes it too cold in there. Uh, but definitely make sure you don't go over 75 degrees Fahrenheit without a veterinary recommendation because anything over 75 degrees can lead to heat stroke in rabbits. So you need to be kind of careful with that. Ebony has also lost some weight, which is very common in elderly rabbits. All of my older rabbits have struggled with weight loss at some point or another. Um, I think Ebony started getting low in weight like a year ago maybe, like around eight years old. Um, I don't remember. As you can tell, I have a horrible memory. So my vet did recommend that I start feeding her pellets. Uh, remember that pellets should only be given under veterinary recommendation for a medical condition or something like that. Healthy rabbits uh, do not need to be eating pellets and it can sometimes cause more harm than good. But because Ebony was losing weight, my vet recommended I try pellets. However, Ebony has always been the pickiest rabbit on the planet Earth. So <sighs> we tried like multiple different types of pellets. She would not eat them. She refused. She was like, that is disgusting. I'm not eating that. So uh, because of that, my vet did give me the go ahead to try some alfalfa hay with her, which again, you should never feed alfalfa hay unless it's under veterinary recommendation. But the issue with that is Ebony hates to be separated from Sterling, so I can't really separate her to feed her because she gets really upset if I do that. Um, so I try to just like give her little pieces of alfalfa like when Sterling isn't around. But the issue is that Sterling has still been able to manage to find pieces of the alfalfa and eat them. And he is on the heavier side, so um, I have to be really careful about that. So it's been kind of hard to manage feeding him or feeding her separately because she just gets so upset. Um, Ebony is a very fragile rabbit temperament wise and emotional wise. Uh, she needs to be with Sterling. If you separate her, she refuses to eat. Like she's very codependent with Sterling. So we do the best we can. Uh, thankfully the last two checkups she had, her weight was stable, which is great. I've found with all of my rabbits, once they are older, they tend to lose about a pound, uh, maybe less than a pound, but they, they lose kind of a dramatic amount of weight and then they kind of level off and stay about that weight during their elderly years. Um, so I'm assuming that's kind of what's happening with Ebony, which is unfortunate, but kind of what has happened with all of my rabbits who are older. So it would be a lot easier if she wasn't extremely picky, but unfortunately she is. But so far she's great and she's been maintaining her weight and doing good. So with that, we just give her extra treats and extra things, you know, that we that she will eat and do the best we can. So that's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, you know, learning about senior rabbit care and what I'm doing with my senior rabbits. Let me know if you guys have any further questions on, you know, anything I'm doing with them or I don't know, <laughs> anything you can think of. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon on a new video. Bye.